Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the top five locations to not put your ATM in. Always remember here at PDQ Merch Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Don't forget to join the ATM Mastermind Group page that's free to join for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and be in a tremendous, fabulous ATM community with other ATM business owners. Don't forget we have the ATM Mastermind book that we took over 20 years of experience and put it all in this little sleek book for your reading pleasure. This is always a fun read. I hope you guys buy it. It'll be a lot of fun. We also have the ATM A to Z program that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. We took over 70 videos. We put it all in an easy to learn, easy to follow on your own pace that also has in the document vault ATM agreements, mobile vent agreements, ATM service agreements, and vault cash agreements. So if you want to have somebody else vault your ATM, now you have an agreement for that. All right, point number one, high-end restaurants. All right, so over our 20 years of experience in the game, we have tried several times to put ATMs in high-end restaurants. And to our, I guess, dismay, we have failed every time. It hasn't worked out for us to be in this environment. Now, I can say if you have a, a bar attached with that and it's more of a bar than a restaurant, that'll work. But if it's just pretty much high-end restaurants, it doesn't work or it hasn't for us. So it seems like it has been a waste of time. So I recommend don't put your ATM in a high-end restaurant. Now, the other caveat to that is, is if you had more of a fast food restaurant, it's not high-end, fast food restaurant is good if it's cash only. But here's what happened is, we put our ATM in a bunch of cash only restaurants, like beef places, hot dog places, burrito places, things like that, and they were only cash only. Now what happened is, through the course of years, they have went, some of them have said, you know what, Phil, it's cash only, I like it, it's good for our business, we're getting a lot of people that really have the credit card nowadays, and so we want to move and navigate to the credit card. So, okay, we're not going to take our ATM out, we're going to leave it in the position. But here's what happened. We went from somewhere between four and 700 transactions a month, all the way down to about 30, sometimes less. So, I just want to tell you guys, if that happens and your restaurant owner decides to say, you know what, we're going to go to credit cards, now it's your opportunity to say, they're changing their deal, you have to change yours. You can't be, I know sometimes you might get, like in a couple of locations, we were doing so well over a lot of time, you know what, we negotiated, it wasn't just 50 cents location, we gave more of that surcharge away. Now when they change a the deal, if you guys are still in there and you wanna stay, keep your ATM in there, now you need to change the deal. They're going to credit cards, they're gonna take away your transactional volume, you guys gotta remember to renegotiate that deal, and you know what, drive that percentage way back up to maybe, maybe it's 90, 10, because now you're not gonna make the same amount of money as you would, but you're given that same commission. So don't forget, they're changing a the deal, you change a deal on that. Point number two is nail salons. I've tried it over and over again, nail salons. I'm thinking high traffic value, a lot of people coming in and out of that store. The owners are always saying the same thing. I don't wanna put the tip on a credit card, we paid enough in credit card fees. I want them to go over to ATM and use that ATM to get cash so they can pay the girls or the, or whoever's doing a nail tech. And you know what? It all sounds real good. They got high traffic, the owner's on board with it, but it just hasn't panned out for us. So nail salons hasn't been a big winner. You're doing somewhere between 10 and 25 transactions a month. It's not an, good enough for us to stay in the game. I just wanna let you know that's what you can expect if you get a nail salon. Keep in mind, you're always looking for a cash solution. The business owner needs a cash solution and you need to provide an ATM in that business where you're gonna be able to do transactional volume. And in this particular business, this wasn't a good one for us. We decided, you know what, we're gonna take that over out of our portfolio of the businesses that we're gonna service as nail salons. We don't have a problem if we wanna sell on that ATM, we'll sell them, let them handle it, and they can vault it. However, we'll do a service agreement on it, not a problem. But as far as vaulting it, it's a waste of time for us to put our money and the ATM into the location because it just doesn't do the volume that we need it to do to be lucrative. Point number three, tire shops. This is another one. A lot of people coming through there, they're doing a bang up business. You know what, you're thinking, hey, there's there's always four or five people waiting in that waiting room. They're doing their tires. It would be a good spot. You know what, it's not for us, it hasn't been. People come in, they pay with credit cards, so they're not using the cash. I was thinking, you know what? While they're in the location, 
they would probably get some money because they might be instead of going to bank or they need some other reason why it just hasn't panned out so tire shops hasn't been a good volume for us however if the tire shop is located that's real close maybe in a strip mall and there's a couple other businesses that are cash only this might be a good avenue but for the most part tire shops by themselves they're usually set off the beaten path by themselves it's not a good business for us or it hasn't been so i'm just giving you guys that little bit of information number four tow truck yards or tow outfits so most of the guys are they're cash only they said they tow your car you get there you know what it's cash only to get to get your car out of hock so to speak so we thought you know what i had a friend who owned his own tow truck he said he said phil it would be great put it in here i got guys constantly coming we tow their vehicle here they are we don't take credit cards we're not going to take credit cards it's only cash could you put one in yep we put one in and this is our was our third time we tried this and again it didn't work we didn't get enough of volume we did transactions but it wasn't enough it was you know 10 to 12 a, a month it just wasn't good and then they wanted to you know it was like 200 200 and then nothing 200 200 and then nothing and it's not a little bit of money they're taking out 200 then he wanted us to raise it to 300 dollars because the guys were complaining so you know what we were just out with that we decided you know what this isn't working it was our second time it didn't work for us it might work for you guys but it didn't work in the past so i'm just letting you know it was not a success for us number five this is going to be a, a split one is banquet halls now you're thinking oh banquet halls that might be a good one a wedding yeah okay that's great except for you know what we're only doing maybe we do as many as three weddings a weekend that's the best we're going to do most of the time it's not a big seller because you're only doing basically an event on Saturday. Sometimes if you get a real swing in place, you'll get a wedding on Friday, Saturday, maybe a bar mitzvah or a cotillion or something on Sunday. Sometimes they do Sunday weddings. For the most part, we have put it in banquet halls time and time again, complete failure, not enough volume there. Only, you know, two, three days a week. We need our ATM rocking and rolling every day. Open as early as we can, staying as late as we can. That's how we make money is transactional volume. Banquet halls haven't been a success for us. Um, just to let you guys know. The other thing is movie houses or playhouses, not movie houses, but playhouses where they have theater, plays, musicals. We have tried this over and over again. It hasn't worked out because they're usually there, you know, Saturday, Sunday performances, sometimes Friday, Saturday performances. They come in, maybe do one show a night, sometimes two, and there's just not enough volume. People come in, they go to the playhouse, then they leave when they have intermission. It, and even though they were all 100% cash, they had their uh, drinks. If somebody wanted to get some booze during the intermission or they wanted to get snacks and sodas, or sometimes they had little trinkets or sandwiches, you know, it was all cash. I thought, all right, home run. Problem is it wasn't enough of volume. They weren't there long enough. And plus they're shut down. Sometimes two months where they're changing shows and the actors are learning how to do the play, they're shut down for two months. Then they open again for maybe two, three months. Then they're shut down for two months. Too much downtime, not enough volume for us to be lucrative. And then we have an ATM. And even in some of those venues, we were 100% commission. We kept it all, a theater company. They didn't care, keep it all, Phil. We, don't, we just want the ATM. It just didn't work out for us. So when you guys are thinking about that, just be careful of those type of venues. Thank you guys very much for making our YouTube channel great, number one in our space. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Hit that like button and share this video with any and all your friends. Also, if you guys have any questions, please put a comment down below how this video has either helped you or you want us to make a video about something else. Don't forget to join our ATM Mastermind group page that's free to join. And don't forget, if you guys need an additional help, some coaching, we have the ATM A to Z program that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. And you can click on the link below to start enroll in, in that format. So. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you over at the ATM Mastermind Group page.